Mr. Stumpy, the secret ingredient for my... I'll fly real high in the clouds so I can find my mommy and daddy. And we'll all live happily ever after. Like in the stories. Doesn't that sound great? <laughs> You're so funny when you don't say anything. What's going on?
I'm over here! He made it out! Your ear! It's just a scratch. I'm fine. Well, we'd better find Torque and get home so I can patch it up. Well, this stinks. How are we gonna get more money? We'll think of something. What I really want to know is why Spade is working for Mayor Zhao. Mm, but loads of cash? Well, Zhao might know something about the assassination, but that still doesn't explain what he needs the stone for. <sighs> I have a bad feeling about all this. What? Someone's following us. What do you mean? Yeah! <laughs> Wait. Someone with a shield pulled me out of the cave. It must have been her. <laughs> sorry about pouncing on ya. Hello? I'm sorry? Don't be scared. I promise we'll keep you safe. Are you a dragon? Yeah. Can... Can I touch your hair? Huh? Oh, okay, never mind. No, no, it's okay. I was just surprised is all. Go ahead. I won't hurt you. <laughs> it's like a rope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe we can be friends. Sure. I'm Mila. What's your name? Lilac. That's a pretty name. <laughs> thanks. This is my friend Carol. Hi. So, thanks for saving me back there. But what are you doing all the way out here? I was playing over here, and then those people came. They're not very nice. I'll say. You know what? You can come to our secret hideout. What? <gasps> really? Yeah. Nobody knows where it is except us. That sounds like fun! The Kingdom Stone has been taken! Your Excellency! By who? Mayor Zhao. His pilgrimage to the temple was a cover-up! This is troubling. Zhao may be a buffoon, but I never believed he was capable of this. A pair of youngsters warned us about the attack. I refuse to listen. I have failed you, Magister. Don't be hard on yourself, General. I would have been just as skeptical. Tell me, who was it that issued this warning? Something doesn't smell right. Well, sorry! You never smell right. I'm referring to those kids. They know something about this. We have to find them. Hey, I like. Hmm? How come Tork doesn't want to know with us? He said he had some work to do. Eh, he's probably just scared of getting cooties. Cooties? <laughs> I'll only destroy it if I have no other choice. I swore to my captain on his dying breath that I would not let Brevin get that stone. I'm sorry about your captain, but you can't destroy it. In fact, you won't even have to think about it because I'm going to help you get it back. I don't care how dangerous it is. It's going to take a lot more than robots and aliens to slow a dragon down. If she's going to go for it, then I am too. If we can beat up a giant praying mantis thing together, then who knows what else we can do. I guess we could let you save Carol's life a few more times. Hey! Yay! So the three of you are really gonna help me stop him? Say no more, Team Lilac's got your back! We'll talk about the name later, okay? I'd be lying if I said I was comfortable with this, but I honestly could use your help. You all know this world better than I do. So, it's official, right? <laughs> more or less. Welcome aboard, ladies! Yes! Awesome! Wonderful! Good evening, sir. It may interest you to know that the location of the artifact has shifted. Where? It's moving toward a densely populated region to the east. This could work to our advantage. Get me the king's son. 
Where do your duties lie, Prince? It is my duty to protect my father's kingdom. You would sacrifice your very life for the good of this kingdom, wouldn't you? Yes. And you would crush all those who threaten its safety. We must protect it at all costs. Exactly. The one you call Zhao has taken something very precious. Something that could put your kingdom at risk. You're not going to let him keep it, are you? Revenge is upon us, my fellow kin. We have confirmed who is responsible for the death of our king. Zhao of Shangmu. His plans to steal our kingdom stone must be stopped. Deploy our sky battalion. Hey, up and at him. We've got adventuring to do. Oh, five more minutes. I was wondering when you'd be awake. You can blame Carol for that. She sleeps for like half a day. <sighs> totally worth it. Well, anyway, I got a call from that big panda guy I told you about. He's gonna help us. When is he coming? Actually, we have to go meet him. He'll be waiting for us north of here. Perfect. I fixed my radar last night so we can use it to find the meeting point. Great! Ready, girls? Aye, aye, Captain. To it! According to the radar, we seem to be at the right location. Um, I think it's a little off. This way! <laughs> She's got a good nose. I'll say. Allow me to properly introduce myself. I am General Gong of Shang Tu. It's an honor, General. The Royal Magister has a proposal. We'd like you to help us get the stone back. It's in the greedy little hands of Man Zhao, in our neighbor city, Shang Mu. Why do you need our help? Don't you have soldiers and spies and stuff? We want to try and resolve this thing peacefully if we can, so we're sending a neutral party to negotiate. Given the, uh, current state of affairs in Shui Gong, they're out of the picture. So you need us to fly to Shang Mu and convince Zhao to give the stone back? Precisely! Let's give it a shot. Right. I assume we'll be taking one of these planes. Uh-huh. You do know how to fly it. Of course I do. <laughs> Good. When you get there, head straight for the city hall. Y yes sir. Quack. Hope you're not afraid of heights. I'll be okay. You just had to follow me here, didn't you? How did you know we were coming? You seemed pretty determined to get that stone back. So you're the thief Lilac was talking about. I've been called worse. Where is it? I've already finished the job. It's time for my brother to play his hand. Your brother? Prince Dale of Shuigon. Really? When he finds the man who murdered our father, there will be no mercy for the kingdom responsible. We know who's responsible. Nice try. Will you just hold on a minute and let us explain? What, so you can throw me off again with your lies? Thanks, but I've had enough. Everyone, split up! We'll cut him off with a huge shopping mall over there! Okay!
Commander! <laughs> if you're searching for the stone, you might want to look up. Enjoy your victory! Ah, stop! We gotta go after them! Those airships would ghost us from a mile away. Remember what happened to me in the valley? There has to be a way. What about Mayor Zhao? It's gone! My one chance for re-election is gone! You! Over there! He's royalty? You have to bow! Oh! Very good. <clears throat> Rise. Were you the ones who disposed of this wretched mechanical beast? You bet we are. Glorious! As a token of my appreciation, I offer each of you free Rain Over Zhao Shopping Paradise! Uh, with this coupon! For 5% off selected brands! Aw, oh, what the heck? Why don't I just invite you over to dinner? My treat! You mean... a royal feast? I am pretty hungry. What about the stone? That scoundrel prince took it from me! I won't even be able to chase him until my ships are repaired! Well, Mayor Zhao, we would be honored to be your guest this evening. Follow me, then. I shall drown your sorrows in delicious chow mein. Don't worry about taking turns. I'm sure you must be hungry. So have at it! Sushi! Me too! <laughs> so, what's that giant head on the wall over there? That's the pride of my collection! An ancient statue modeled after the dragons of the before time! What's special about them compared to, you know, someone like Lila? What's special? Ha! Did you come from another planet or something? <coughs> Sorry. Long ago. A magnificent creature soared across Avalis in a ball of fire. When it landed, our ancestors were so captivated by its power and beauty that they built three kingdoms in its honor. Shangmu, Shangtu, and Shui Gang? Bingo! And when the cities were built, the dragon transformed into the legendary kingdom stone we know and love today. The same stone that was heartlessly yanked away from me. You took it first. Carol! Manners! Sorry. Why did you take it? Why now? Shang Mu is on the brink of an energy crisis! With the stone in our hands, we could have solved it overnight! Well, that worked out well. I don't think this energy crisis of yours is an accident. I think it's deliberate, and I think we know who is responsible. I've heard them a thousand times from a thousand self-righteous warriors. Unless you have something useful to say, the only thing that matters to me is how quickly I can cast you aside. I really have a lot of work to do. <coughs> You'll fail. Men like you always fail. Interesting theory. Hello, sir. Have you beheaded the intruders yet? What is it? There is an incoming transmission from General Serpentine. The full moon is out! <laughs> Not a cloud in the sky! Don't relax just yet. Upload the scans and get back here immediately. Of course, my lord! Contact the crash site and tell them to refit our warp drive. I want the artifact to fit like a glove. As you wish, sir. We're getting off this rock. An alliance with Shang Tu. What a 
lovely idea. Oh, hey, Magister. Sorry about ambushing your soldiers and desecrating your temple. Let's go frolicking in the woods together with our makeup and pretty dresses. Your Excellency, we're a neutral party. Send us to speak on your behalf. If he won't listen to the greatest ruler in all of Avalis, why would he listen to a bunch of kids? Can we try? Pretty... Just imagine how much people are going to love you for reuniting the three kingdoms against a common enemy. You'll be a hero. Me? A war hero? Now that you mention it, I could use a few extra hands. So you'll help us then? Eh, what the heck. It's worth a shot. Yay! To the airship! Yes. But of course, it's equipped with everything you'll need for your trip, including your luxurious living quarters. Good luck, my friends! Thank you! How's it going? I'm... I'm making a wish. Oh, what kind of wish? Well... I really want to see my mommy and daddy again. Sounds like a good thing to wish for. We're gonna be going inside soon. You wanna come? Okay! ships and we're toast!
work. Over! So that's why your airships are boat-shaped. Things have been pretty crazy so far, huh? Yeah... How long have you been away from your parents? I'm not sure. It feels like a really long time. And you've been alone in the woods ever since? Yeah... I hope this doesn't sound weird, but... <laughs> that's kind of impressive. I wouldn't survive a day without my treehouse. Hey, when this is all over, how about we have a girls' night out? Just you and me! You mean... a play date? Something like that. We could try out some dresses, or maybe buy a huge plate of sushi and just pig out. What about Carol? Can she come too? Good luck getting her to put a dress on. <laughs> well, sure. I'd like that. Great! Look, everyone! The city! Haha, <laughs> my friends! How did the negotiations fare? Prince Dale took the stone. We need to speak to the Magister immediately. <sighs> I see. Very well, then. He deserves to know. A thousand good greetings to you, Magister. It's my understanding that Shui Gang is now in possession of the Kingdom Stone. Not exactly a greatness. Someone else has it. Explain. It's been taken by a warlord named Brevin. He has been manipulating the Three Kingdoms into waging war. And you have proof of this. This is a fragment of one of Brevin's machines. Have your scientists examine it you'll find that its mineral composition doesn't match anything that's built on your world. Wait! Don't touch it! This theory you have of a man from another world sounds highly suspicious, at best. If you will allow me to explain, Magister, I have a different theory in mind. Proceed. This is nothing but an attempt from Mayor Zhao to cover up the atrocities he committed against our kingdom stone. He must have offered you a generous reward to come here and make up this ridiculous story. After all, you can't resist money, Sash Lilac and Carol T. And you know our names because... You were quite the fortune teller yesterday, so I couldn't resist doing a little background check. Not only have the two of you been stealing crystal shards, you've been working for the same group that claimed responsibility for the stone's theft. The Red Scarves. <gasps> hey, look, Lilac, it's our uh, identical twin sisters. They're criminals and spies, Your Excellency. Is this true? We were just... Wait. Magister, we're no longer members of the Scarves. It was a long time ago. We did what we had to to survive. Detain them until further notice. Make sure the commander and his evidence are properly quarantined. Hey, 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 easy! Magister, please! We don't have time for this! You're right. Take them away immediately. Examine the fragment! Examine it! 
Ah, uh, that stupid panda girl. Come closer. We can't let the guards hear us. Now, let's try and figure this out. We gotta bust out of here. But we can't leave without Torque. You got any bright ideas, Miss Hero Pants? It's not gonna be easy. He's been quarantined. What if we bribe the guards? Uh, Carol? We don't have any of our belongings. Ooh, ooh! I'll pretend I have to pee really bad, and then when they open the gate, we'll make a break for it! I told you, we can't leave without Torque. All right. Hmm. Oh, I got it now. First, we'll both switch clothes, and then I'll switch with Mila. And then when they... Uh... This way! What? Huh? I can dig through here! Well, that makes it easy. Let's go. Actually, only one of us should go. We don't want the guards to suspect anything. I'll go. For the team. The sooner you find Torque, the sooner we can get out of here. It has come to my attention that there are still chasers among us. We must neutralize them. Yeah, I'll get you, Commander! According to our intelligence reports, direct infiltration of the city will be impossible without exposing our operations. As soon as they leave, I want them dragged to our remote base. Do whatever it takes to bring them under our control. Relax. It's dishonorable to hurt small children. Follow me. Nice try. Well, there goes that plan. I'm sorry. Wait! Tell the Magister I want to confess. What? Very well. It's okay. I have an idea. So Torque has nothing to do with this. We forced him to help us against his will. I see. Since you have displayed integrity in revealing this farce, I will release your friend. But this does not change your own fate. You and your companions have lied to us, and in doing so have wasted our time and resources. You will remain imprisoned until I deem otherwise. If I may make one last request, I want to say goodbye to him and apologize for the trouble I've caused. Very well. Make it quick. I don't know what to say. We needed Shang Tu's support. I know, but we can't do anything while we're all sitting behind bars. We need more evidence. But what about you guys? We'll catch up with you. Busting out of here will be a piece of crab cake.
penetrate the law.
don't know. Maybe we're not cut out for this. We should go home. So that's it? We just leave and let Torque die? What are we supposed to do? I like Torque, but this is so much bigger than us. We're just kids. That doesn't mean anything. Doesn't mean anything? Look at what they did to me! To us! Sometimes I feel like you're trying to get us killed. How can you say that? I put myself out there on the front line so you don't have to! Yeah, and I always have to bail you out. What's the problem with that? We're helping each other do the right thing. But I don't want to do the right thing! I just want to spend time with my best friend! If the only way I can do that is by risking my life, maybe we shouldn't be friends anymore. Carol... Don't! Just don't. I'm done. It's okay. I'm going after him. Alone. Let me come with you. No. Carol's right. Friends shouldn't let each other get hurt. You should stay behind with her. Mila, stay here. I won't leave you. Stay! My luck! She's gone! She actually went through with it? Big surprise. Are you mad at her? Eh, I'll get over it, I guess. But we're gonna do things my way now. What is this place? The Red Scarves are down here. They've still got all my ninja stuff. You are a ninja? Eh, not really. I mean, it's a long story, so I'll tell you someday if you're good. Come on, let's show Miss Hero Pants how it's done.
You're here to ask for help, aren't you? Couldn't handle that little quest of yours on your own? Cram it, Spade! Stop it! You're right! We need your help! Our friends are in trouble! I'm supposed to care why? The guy who kidnapped them is the one who killed your father. Face it, Buster. We're the only lead you've got.
unlock this door. Stand on the blinking floor panel to your right.
to read still during the incineration process. Thank you. You will never do it again! <coughs> we gotta leave! Now! You know, it was so smart of your coalition to attack my ship above an inhabited planet. Whatever happened to that prime directive of yours? You think you're some blameless force of nature, don't you? That the rules don't apply to you! It's my world on the line. You know exactly how far I'll go to ensure its safety. Your world is in danger because of the suffering you caused to the other worlds! My actions have hurt people? I had no idea. I'm dreadfully sorry. Really? He's lying! I have a lot of work to do, so let's make this quick. Kill them. <laughs> Overload detected. The facility will implode in six minutes. Don't let them escape! Find out who did this! Lilac! Can you sense where she is, Mila? Coming. Something very, very big is coming! Stay behind me! Halt! I said halt! Well, look what we have here! Have you seen Lilac? The dragon girl? Afraid not. Well, what's with the army? Zhao and his goons are about to attack Shui Gong. I'm not about to let that happen. Zhao is going to war? Not if we reach him. All he needs is a little bit of persuasion, if you know what I'm talking about. We're friends with him. Maybe we can ask him to stop. <sighs> yeah, like that's gonna work. Hey, wait a minute. I think you might be onto something. Hop in! Quack. <laughs> We ain't gonna be hidden forever, Spaceman. Be quick about it.
For sure, it's what we're all about. Stop! What are they doing here? <laughs> nice hat. Nice gut. Let me help! It seems that we have a common enemy, Zhao. So let me get this straight. The Magister says that if we join together and fight Mr. Braven, we get half of the Kingdom's stone's energy. Sounds like a fair offer, does it not? Are you kidding? My city needs way more than half! Ha! <laughs> you just want to hog the last of our reserves! I know you feel a little jealous, but I can't help if my city is bigger than yours! <laughs> Hold on a minute, fellas! This is exactly what Brevin wants! For you two to fight while he gets away with all of your energy! What difference does it make if it's Brevin or this swine? <laughs> You were marching into Shui Gang whether you like it or not! You don't have the guts! Look! Dragon. Kneel before the ancient beast! You're saying that, um, we should work together. Oh, of course. <laughs> oh, please don't eat us. What's that? It couldn't have been her. Could it? Be careful what you wish for. Where have you been? How did you do that? I didn't do it. This little fella did. Yeah! It's okay, guys. This robot wasn't made by Brevin. Oh, really? It's a long story. But the Magister believes us now. We have his full support. Aw, yeah! That's my girl. My friends! We have been blessed with the Seal of the Dragon! We must heed its call and join together for the greater good! Under my leadership! You can't be serious! What can you tell us about the invaders? Well, Brevin is a starship commander. He doesn't have as much experience fighting on the ground as you do. Then we shall take the battle to the streets! But we need to cross the snowfields without getting wasted. We do have one advantage. Brevin wants the four of us dead, no matter what. If he sees us coming, we can distract him. A diversion? Do you really think you can pull it off? Remember all the times we distracted you? Point taken. What about the stone? How do we get it back? I could modify one of my hacking devices to knock out power to the engine mainframe. In my language... Kill the power, get the stone back. Right? You got it. The alien army has commenced its attack. Give the order to your troops. It will be done. You ready, Carol? Ready to rock. Find the commander and his pets and tear them to shreds. And leave the brains intact if possible. I might use them for something. Fire at will! Let's show this green maniac how to save a planet! Alright! Are you driving my tank? I only have two rules! Aim and fire!
Wade! I hate to disappoint you, but I'm just passing through. Have fun saving the world. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I was scared. I didn't know what I was doing. You still don't. Attention, troops. Prepare for liftoff. Listen, guys. I'll go in alone while you help the general take back the city. Why can't we go in together? It'll be easier this way, trust me. But they'll have a harder time catching us if we stick together. But that's what Brevin's expecting us to do. Then let me go instead. You're too important to the mission. I can't lose another crew! If something happens to you, I'm... I'm not strong enough to save you. We'll be strong for you. We said we were gonna help you get back the stone. We still mean it. You're stuck with us, buddy, whether you like it or not. As soon as you step foot into that dreadnought, you may never come out again. Are you ready to make that sacrifice? Yeah, whatever. Let's go. We're wasting time. All right. Here's the plan.
It was an ambush. Brevin came out of nowhere. I have to take her back to the surface or she'll die. Where's Lilac? She ran off to stop him. <sighs> Wait, what are you doing? Lilac needs help. But, but what about we'll the- We'll be stronger together. I can do this. All right. Keep an eye on her, will ya? Yes! Challenging me, you won't be seeing her again. Lila! I offer you one final chance. Leave. Now. I can't. I won't. So be it.
You've pestered me long enough. <laughs> Say goodbye. No. Are you okay? No, I'm dead. Blech. Yep, she's fine. Did we win? Yeah, we did. Awesome. I couldn't save it. I couldn't even stop him from getting away. Don't beat yourself up. Brevin didn't get the stone, and his army was destroyed with his ship. Thanks to you, our mission is complete. But at what cost? How are we going to survive without any more energy? Uh, Lilac, you might want to look up. Wow, it, it's not destroyed? It must have changed form! Call me impressed. An opportunity has fallen to our world. We now realize that the Kingdom Stone was never fading, but changing in ways that were transparent to us in our lust for power and prestige. The wind carries its eternal glow to the furthest reaches of our lands, and former enemies extend their hands to one another, acknowledging the error of their ways. Creatures both mutant and metal still ravage the landscape, and it will be some time before we can dispose of them once and for all. Perhaps most troubling of all is that Lord Riven, the monster who threw our world into chaos, is nowhere to be found. There is still much work to be done. We are not completely out of danger. My people and I will rest easy tonight, knowing that the bravery and sacrifice of a select few have given our world another chance. I never got to properly thank you all for helping me. Hey, we're buds. That's what buddies do. Well, on behalf of the Coalition of Planets, you have our sincerest gratitude. Psst, come here, you. <laughs> Thank you. So, I guess this is it, huh? I'm gonna miss you. Me too. Well, who knows? I could be coming back sooner than you think. Until then, just take care of yourselves. The world needs you. See you around, spaceman! Goodbye, Torque! Bye, Torque! See you soon!